Raise your hand if you get to inbox zero every single time. Yeah, not me either. Uh, it's so hard to get to inbox zero, to be able to process through all of those messages. If you leave messages in your inbox for any amount of time, Gmail has this great feature that can help you keep an eye on what's what and what you need to do next with it. And it's super easy to set up. I'm Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. Let's get started. So if you've used Gmail for any amount of time, you've probably seen the stars feature. You know, stars are where you can click on that little star and it helps to set that, that message aside from all the rest of them, kind of like marking it as important. But only having one kind of star kind of limits you a little bit. What if you had different colored stars and different icons that could help you identify what everything is? Believe it or not, Gmail actually has that feature already built into it, and it's really easy to set up. So if we look here on the screen, we can see what that looks like. See, notice I can click that first image and I can put a star on it. But if I keep clicking, I have it set up so that I have a yellow star, an orange star, a purple star, an exclamation point, and a check mark. And that's not even all of them. So if you can think of different things that you want each of those icons to stand for, this is a really easy way to keep these messages organized in your inbox. So let's see how we can figure out how to set this up. So the way to set it up is you want to click on the gear up here in the top right hand corner of your Gmail. And when you click on that, you go to settings. Now the stars and the check boxes and the exclamation points and all of that, they're right here under the general tab under settings. We scroll down for just a little bit and we find stars and it tells you to drag the stars between the lists. They rotate in the order shown below when you click successively, kind of like when I was clicking through all of them. So notice that I already have the yellow star, the orange star, the purple star, the exclamation point and the check mark. If I want to add, a blue eye and a purple question mark that comes up first and a green star that comes up third. All I've got to do is just drag those into this place where it says in use. So you pick what order they're in and what shows up. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and make sure we hit save changes or otherwise we lose all of that. And then it loads it right back up into our inbox. And then you can see as I click on this, it starts with the purple question mark, then to the yellow star, then to the green and so on and so forth, just in that same order. So if you're looking at this, you might be thinking the same thing that I am. And that is, I've got all of these messages in my inbox. You can see in this particular account, I bet somebody is judging me right now just because they've seen this, that there are 1,408 messages. Now this is kind of a junk email folder for me. So um, don't, don't judge too, too harshly here because this isn't my primary one. But if I'm going to leave some messages here and I want to be able to see at a glance, you know, for instance, what are the questions that I need to identify or that I need to answer soon? Uh, what's something that I need to take action on today? What's something I need to take an action on by the next week? What's something that, you know, is part of a certain project that I'm working on. If I assign one of those different icons to the, that particular type of message, now all of a sudden I've got this extra layer of organization and I can leave those messages in my inbox. If you're an inbox zero person, that probably runs against everything that you believe in, but you know what? If you're an inbox zero person, you probably didn't watch this far into the video. So I'm probably preaching to the choir here. So super easy to set up, go give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Um, this is brought to you by Ditch That Textbook, all about bringing teachers ideas, practical ideas that you can use in the classroom. My name's Matt Miller. I'll see you on the next video.